Ms. Chris D'Souza. Your Honor, a point, sorry, Mr. Speaker, your a point of clarification. Uh, Ms. Sylvia Lim had asked me what uh, my view on Clause 3 is. And um, I think uh, my Clause 3 was very clear uh, in my speech. I said, since the last time the CLTPA was renewed, there has been a successful appeal on detention under the CLTPA. Uh, this case impacts our debate on the bill for two reasons. One, it sheds light on the implications of Clause 3 that says the Minister's decision is final. I have also said that newspapers have reported some concern raised over Clause 3 of the bill. However, this concern can be ameliorated as the clause does not change the law. The bill supplement clearly says it is to clarify the law. Following uh, Ms. Lim's clarification of me, I have studied that judgment, Dan Tan judgment, and my position remains that just because Clause 3 inserts subsection 2 to say that the Minister's decision is final, it does not change the law. In the Court of Appeal in Tan Sit Eng at Para 91 of the judgment, it was recognized, and I quote, there is a fine line between assessment of the merits of the decision, that is an evaluation of fact and policy, and the assess assessment of whether the principles of just administrative action have been met. At 97 of the judgment, it goes on to say, in our judgment, while it is one thing to say that the court must not substitute its view as to the way in which the discretion that is vested in the minister should be exercised, it is quite another to say that the minister's exercise of discretion may not be scrutinized by the court at all. And here's the nub. The, the, the court recognized at 73 of the judgment that the correct scope of judicial review for this purpose in the context of ORD applications concerned with the detention under the CLTPA is the traditional test. What an applicant must show is that his detention is unlawful on the grounds of illegality irrationality or procedural impropriety. Therefore, my conclusion, which is also evident in the first speech that I gave prior to the clarification, is that this inclusion of clause three only clarifies that the court, that the court is not to substitute its own decision or look into the substantive merits of the decision. It does not change the judicial reviewability of such an order.